Peace, peace. Let's go. This is part two, y'all. How y'all feeling? This video that I'm showing you is by Cyrus Cudicetti. The Conquered by Religion, the Rape of African Spirituality. Listen, I need you to, to sit down and get your papers and pencils and then get this information. That's what I want y'all to do now. Get that information. You're going to do your own research. I expect nothing less but do your own research. That's why I put this information out there. All right? Remember, I'm not a scholar, mathematics, scientist. I'm not an archaeologist, astronomer. I'm not your preacher, your pastor, your minister, your deacon. I'm just a messenger putting this information out. Do your homework. Write these things down. Because a lot of you can't find these DVDs, so I put these things out there. And I narrate from time to time. I come in and out, as you can see. Let's pay all due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Asalaamu Alaikum. Good morning. Amun. This is valuable information, y'all. And Sagar Sudan said he, he's a powerful scholar. Powerful scholar. I'll let him speak for himself. I ain't got to say no more. Let's go into it. Let's put this work in. That was indigenous African territory. And if you look at all the nations that are in Africa today, a lot of them have been named by the colonialists, Arab and European people. And you got to know that. Now I'm going to go into these two books right here. Al Islam, Christianity and Freemasonry by Mustafa El Amin and the wonderful Ethiopians of the Kushite Empire by our sister, warrior sister, Queen Drusilla Dungeon Houston. Had to bring that queen out. Now this is from the brother El Amin. Now he's a Muslim. Take that in, into consideration. Prior to the advent of the Prophet Muhammad, and the message of our Islam, according to documented history, the Arabs were uncivilized, ignorant, backwards people. Now that's a Muslim. That's a Muslim. So that right there shows you that my man, Ali Muhammad, he does not own the interpretation of Islam. Because I didn't already went in there and showed a Muslim that it teaches something totally different. The period in their history is known as the age of ignorance. Although the Dark Ages occurred throughout Europe and the Middle East, it has been reported by some historians that the knowledge of civilization was more lacking in Arabia than all other parts of the known world. Damn, you at the bottom. So we, I mean, so if we talking about Muhammad around 600 AD, how the hell is he talking about our last 6,000 BCE? They were ignorant. And he, he's trying to say that Arabia and Sumeria brought knowledge into Egypt? How? You got to show the, uh, the evolution of the knowledge. You got to show us that. How did you develop the knowledge? Just to say that you brought it in is nothing. You must show the development. Now, this is what the sister said. Among the Semitic people, herding is highly esteemed. The fact that shepherds and swine herds were the lower strata of Egyptian society proves that they were not Semitic in origin. Exodus, what's that? 8, 26 says, Egyptians would not eat with Hebrews because they were shepherds who sacrificed beasts that were an abomination to the Egyptians. Those who contend that the origin of civ the civilization of the Nile was from, a from Asia to note that under the Asiatics, Egypt entered into the darkest periods of our history. The Hitchcocks, the Persians, they didn't bring nothing. They destroyed it. So that's for your Asiatics. That's documented fact. You tell me what the Hitchcocks brought in, brought in or what the Persians brought in. They Asiatics. Don't hold your tongue. Bring it up here. The people want to see it. We don't want to see no more or Xerox copies. Just bring the actual fact. That'll kill all the need 
Well, you don't have to explain to explain so long. Just bring us the documented fact. Now, this is what, this is what the cracker uh, Bud said about ancient Egypt. Now, Bud, we know he's a cracker, but he spent about 50 years in Egypt. They, he was the, he's one of the main rapers of Egypt, so he know what it is. He says, during a subsequent visit to the Sudan, I became convinced that a satisfactory explanation of ancient Egypt, Egyptian religion could only be obtained from the religions of the Sudan. Modern Sudanese beliefs are identical with those of ancient Egypt because the Egyptians were Africans and the modern peoples of the Sudan are Africans. Now that cracker been over there 50 years. He been raping and robbing. He know what it is. He don't have to lie for the uh, Arab or the, Sudan, the Sudanese or nobody else. If he ain't gonna steal it for himself, why would he even get, give any type of credit to an Arab? He's gonna take it for himself. So why we have to lie about ancient Egypt being descended from the Sudanese. Anybody that go there and look at the culture that is practiced on a daily basis can look up on the wall and see that many of the practices are still going on today. But you ain't been. And you keep listening to people that have not been. And that's on you. Because the first thing, if you're going to deal with a doctor of the eye, then you want to see some documentation that this man has performed surgery on the eye. And this man, if this man been digging in people's ears, he's an ear doctor, and you let him do surgery on your eye, that's your damn fault. If y'all knew the man hadn't been to Egypt, and he all up here reading on the damn walls like he uh, M. Hotel or some damn body, and y'all sat out there and listened to him, damn, you just as damn dumb as he is. I mean it. The Arabs are white people, and that is why they wear long clothing and hair wraps to protect their bodies against sun exposure. Huh? When it get, when it get hot outside, black people get naked. I'm ready to take this off right now. I'm sweating. We take our clothes off. We don't go put my clothes on. You understand what I'm saying? So when them crackers came from up out of them hills, that sun was cooking their ass, and they had to put on all them clothes. That's just the bottom line to that. Y'all should know that. And you're going to put on all them clothes, and it's already 200 degrees. Now look at that. Look at that. That's African? Come on, man. We're going to dress our queens up like that? No, we ain't going to do that because we got some fine sisters. Ain't that right, brothers? Give a clap for the sisters. Give a clap for the sisters. And if a lot of y'all seen what was up under that mask, you, you'll know why he put them clothes on that rug. Now look at that. Let's be serious, family. Look at that now. That's not us. That's not our culture, man. That's, that's a cold climate people. That's why they got all them clothes on. Let's be serious. Look at that. We don't dress our woman up like that. And that's what I put up there. You see the brothers up there. They only got on loincloth. Why they ain't dressed like the damn a rag They ain't got nothing on but a loincloth. Because they are people of the sun, children of the sun. Now, look at that. See, I, I want y'all to look at this. You see how the cracker is trying to rape Egypt? That's the original right there. And here go that garbage in Las Vegas. Now, this is an original of Tutankhamen. And this is this garbage that they done created, I don't know, about three, four years ago. Even though this is the original that came up out of the tomb, the Pecklewood is so arrogant, he thinks he can do it better. He's going to recreate that. And you can even look at the chin. He ain't even got no chin. The brother right here got double necks. You got the double, he, right here, I don't know what that is. You almost got a, like a, a dog-like neck, a long neck. Then you see the ears kind of slanted. The, the head is shaped totally different. The nose, the lips, everything is different. So what I'm saying to you is this. 
as much as the Arabs want to steal Egypt from Africa, if they thought our law was on the wall, they would have played that card a long time ago. They would have played that card a long time ago. That's a dagger you just can't get over. Our law's on the wall. But see, the Arab wasn't going to play that because he know based on his religion, he don't go back that far. And plus, Egypt in the Quran is considered the evil empire. Why would Allah send Moses to deliver the Israelites if Allah was already in the land? Just be serious about that. Now, this is going to get you. Now, saying Egypt is not culturally, physically, and spiritually a part of Africa is like saying the whole of a man's body belongs to him except his penis. Now, listen, don't get, don't get it twisted. See, that's Harry right there. And what I'm saying, the arm, the head, the leg, they belong to Harry. But his penis, it don't belong to him, even though it's physically on his body. It's physically on his body, and Egypt is physically a part of Africa. So to say that Egypt is not culturally, physically, and spiritually a part of Africa is like saying that this, even though the penis is connected to the man, it's not Harry's penis, it's somebody else's penis. Now, if you're going to fall for that, even though it's connected to the man's body, that is on you. Egypt is physically a part of Africa just like any other country in Africa. It is just as African as any other country. And you cannot let these people remove Egypt from Africa. Now, this is from Dr. Yosef Ben Yakin, who brought this knowledge to us about the papyrus of Hunafa. Now, this is what the papyrus of Hunefa said. It says, we, meaning the Africans, you and I, came from the beginning of the Nile, where God happy dwell at the foothill of the mountain of the moon, which is in Mount Kilimanjaro in Kenya, Mount Rizuri in Uganda. And in the metal netter, it was called Tineta Root, land of the gods and goddesses. Now, if we got this documentation, what the hell is we talking about? If we never, in 1306, gave us this information, what are we still discussing this for? See, at some point in time, you got to be convinced, and you just got to move with the knowledge. If you're going to stop and debate it, Peace, 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 y'all. Did he inject? Now, the powerful scholar Cyrus Sutton said he has completely explained to you how this knowledge been here for thousands of years. But somehow our people keep trying to debate it, trying to find faults. Now, me personally, I take information from all over the place. But I do study Egyptian theology. That was my first lessons. Even though I, even though I was a Christian first, second rather, Jehovah's Witness, Christian, but my true studies is Egyptian theology. The reason why, <clears throat> it was easy. Because Egypt is in the Bible. And, just like the great scholar Cyrus Sutton said he stated, how a lot of people try to say that Egypt was an evil empire. Let's think about this for a moment. If Egypt was an evil empire, right, how did all these Hebrews get in there? See, one thing we don't seem to understand is this here. How did the Hebrews get there? They wasn't slaves always. They was not slaves always. Number two, think before you speak. You gotta have a military force. The Egyptian also was a military force. Now if you got other people from foreign lands in your territory and they're about to multiply excuse me 
they were multiplying in your lands. You as a military force, a military mind, you begin to see they can outnumber you. They can go to your neighbors that you have some kind of peace treaty. They can convince them to overthrow you and take you out of your own throne or your own land. Think about this. The problem is when people start giving you information, oh, Egypt was an was, um, a evil empire. Egypt was evil. There's a lot of things that y'all don't know about Egypt. And then they try to sit there and say Egypt is not even part of Africa. Egypt is one of the, I believe, one of the 52 nations. I mean, really? This is one of the original civilizations that was in Africa, that is still in Africa. Which, really, the word Egypt does, is not even its true form. It's comedic. So listen, we got to be careful on how people are giving information. When you hear people giving the information and they try to dilute their own culture, their own race. Now, you make sure you get evidence, cross-reference, to see are they right or are they wrong. But the evidence here, 